This is Monkey. We are here in Ellaville. Ellaville has a abandoned bridge and it is called what? Hillman. Hillman Bridge. So let's go and explore the abandoned bridge. Oh man, it's getting hot again. Sir? Getting hot again. Yes, sir. And here is the bridge. Let's go look at it. Let me hold him. I can do it. I got Bruno with me, so I might not be so steady. <laughs> there you are. There you go. On the Hillman Bridge. Uh -huh. The bridge that is no longer. Public. Yeah. Used to have a gas station and all kinds of stuff here. And why this is abandoned is because they built a new one, and this ended up not being any longer. You see, Shea Bear's trying to do his too. This is really cool. We drove about two hours away, and from home, so it was kind of a nice little drive. This is pretty cool though. We're on the other side. There's two sides of getting over here. And we came on the other side. Steamboats come. Yeah. And um I let him talk. I <laughs> you can hear him. Delivers uh or pick up lumber and deliver supplies. But it was named Ellaville. Ella a little park was down one here. Of servants' names. So he Look named the Pick town after his servant. Isn't that cool? Ella. Yeah. Nice little area. It's a shame that they don't keep it up, though. Uh, this is really bridge. neat. And see over there. I think you can see there. I think that's the new bridge over there, right? Yeah, we just went across. The yeah, that's the new bridge over that way. And those, you can barely see it with those trees. Maybe I can come up more, and you'll be able to see a little bit more. Big old trees. <laughs> Everybody's wrote their names on here. Graffiti and stuff. Cool. Very cool. I don't think I've been into an abandoned bridge before. There you have. What bridge? I'm going to tell you. I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember. You don't remember? Uh-uh. Spook Bridge. Oh, yeah. Duh. Spook Bridge, yep. You're right. <laughs> yep, so this is my second abandoned bridge. Very cool. This is up this way, I think. Is this the Swanee River? This is the Swanee River. Okay, yeah. This is going to be the Swanee River. Now there's another bridge just like this that we're going to go to after this one. Right. Now there's two of them up this way, so we, we came to explore today. And we got our Bruno here. He's exploring with us. He loves to go. And he knows when we're there. He's the funniest thing. Uh, 
just showing you the little bit of, of the scenery here that you can see we're out in the middle of nowhere really there's a house over there though at the end of the bridge oh wow oh wow Uh, I got graffiti on here. I'll show you as we're going out. Cool. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Some people's art is neat. I like the graffiti sometimes. As long as it's not nasty, you know? They got to do some really cool arts and stuff on there. And here's the Swanee River right here. Wow, isn't that pretty? Wow. And there's your new bridge right there. So they're fairly close. They're not as far apart as I thought they were going to be. Wow. Stay, Bruno. I don't want you falling over the board here. Wow, look at that. Isn't that neat? Wow. So pretty. I like to go canoeing in here. There's Stay Bear over there looking around. I'm going to show you on this side here. That's the railroad over there? Yes. Is it ab it's abandoned, right? No. No? That is usable? That is still in use today. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. There, look. Looking down here. Wow, there's a stick over there. It mustn't be very deep. Maybe it gets deeper as you go in the middle, right? I would say. And there's a park. There's a state park net far from here. And I think it's down that way. I got Bruno, so I can't really point too well. It's way down that way and it's a state park and I think they go canoeing in here and stuff like that. I don't see anybody this morning. But we got here pretty good. We we left around what, 8 o'clock this morning to be able to get here you know, and spend the, as much time as here as we can. So we can get some good stuff here for y'all. And try to put some more videos up as I can. I work a lot, so it's very hard for me. And, uh, but it's really pretty. Oh, so beautiful up here. Oh, I could stay up here all day long. Let's look at this side. Wow. That's a pretty good cur current, too. It's, it's a moving. Yeah, I don't know if you can... There we go. I've got big huge rocks way over here. Kind of reminds me of up north. You know, you wouldn't know you're in Florida. Yeah, we are still in Florida, but um, you wouldn't know it. Really. It's very pretty. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Wow. Let me just keep going. Down here a little bit more. There's a car going by. Yeah. Peaceful. So peaceful. Not too many people out here. Mm -mm. I haven't seen anybody on the bridge here. Just us. Huh. Oh, look. I wonder what's there. A stick. Huh. Must have been a tree fell in. A big tree or something. I don't know. It kind of looks weird, don't it? To me it does. Anyways, I can't see if you guys are seeing it. I hope you can. The sun is just a glistening, so. It is so pretty.
nice and peaceful. Very cool. He's way up there. I oh, see too. There's a little bit of graffiti over here, but not a whole lot. It's been washed away and stuff. And here I'll show you up on the top here of the bridge. Oh wow. Hard to believe it's still here, huh? The material that they used. Unbelievable. Very cool. That's very, very cool. Awesome. What a beautiful view. I understand why people come out here and film. Wow. Just gorgeous. Got a little breeze going on too today, which is nice. It's supposed to rain. Hopefully we won't get no rain while we're doing this today. Going to Spook Bridge, and we were just soaked. And that was a cold rain, you know. It's just it was a cold rain. We didn't bring any extra clothes. I brought me an extra set of clothes this time, just in case. Better be safe than sorry. We've had a lot of rain in Florida, which is that time of year. Oh, look at that rock down there. Oh, wow. Is that a rock? I think so. Maybe there was a dock there. So I, I don't know. Might have been. Maybe. This. Oh, it is. better than I can, so. especially with the dog eyes, it's kind of hard, but we'll go through here and see what there is to see, oh look, see, wow, wow. cool, very cool, hmm, I'll show you behind me, there we go, wow, end here. There's a road right here. This is the end, I think, of the bridge. You see, there's your new roadway over there. So it used to come off of there. Old guardrail. Look at that. Yeah. Huh. See if I can put Bruno on the on a hook here for a minute. See if it'll fit. Yeah, not gonna fit. I could wrap it. Hold on, I'm gonna take some pictures of this. There we go. Maybe wrap it for a minute. There. And here we go. So isn't that pretty? Awesome, awesome, awesome.
There's an old building in here. I can't cross it because it says no trespassing. So, but see that sign it says no trespassing. I think this could have been maybe the uh, an old store or the old gas station. You see in there. Um, you can kind of see a little bit, but not a whole lot. I might have it too close. There, you can see where the holes are in there, but I believe maybe that's what it was. Um, this was an old town, so it it has some good history here. I'll uh, put a, a writing up a little bit about it so you guys can understand a little bit more. Um, and that's it, you know. So, anyways. I'm going to say I'm out for now and we're going to keep on going for our adventure. Bye. Okay everyone, I was videotaping this area as um, it, I thought it was a gas station, but the owner came out of that house over here, which he, I won't really show too much because um, he doesn't want anybody out here. Um, they used to have a restaurant there and it wasn't theirs but it was a restaurant and also it was a wine cellar in behind um, we found out that Ted Bundy had um, killed two women in here and uh, so that was quite interesting he said there were several other people that were were killed inside this restaurant so and the wine cellar um, it has been locked up and barricaded up for many years. It's still the same inside, he said. Um, they don't touch it. And he said that if he walks by it at nighttime, he feels like somebody's watching him. He, he feels like a very eerie, very eerie place. But the home that they're in used to be an arcade. So they um, bought that and uh, they own the arc. I guess, the home that was an arcade. But... Um, over in that woods there is the restaurant where uh, Ted Bundy had murdered two, two, two girls, two women. Okay, now stay tuned. We have more. Okay. We're in the park still. There's the bridge way over here. And you go down that way, you'll go to the, the Swanee River. So we were sitting here and this is what I see. Isn't this cool? It's a little park so I guess you could have a little fire, maybe barbecue or something at one time. They're not keeping this up very well. And they do have picnic tables and stuff throughout here. But that's really, really cool. They got logs here. So they must have had something here at one time. Anyways. Stay tuned. Okay guys, this is the train trestle. Look at this. See this platform? Yeah. That's an old ship platform. And if you would be on there and a train came, you could stand off to the side of that so you wouldn't get hit by the train. Ah. That's what them are for. Is this workable? What? This one's the abandoned one? No, oh. this is not abandoned, hun. Why do I think this is... This is still in use today. Oh, okay. And right over there is the river. Look, it kind of curves. Cool, eh? Better shot without the sun here. Pretty cool, huh? Uh-huh. All right. You're going the right way, you Yes. Okay. Onward.
Is that the man you were talking about? Yes. There's something neat down here. I'm not sure what it was for, but maybe the the sawmill. And the cobweb. Ugh, I didn't get it all. Uh, just a guess on my part, maybe some kind of, like a reservoir or something. <laughs> Monkey's back there going, wow. There's a rope hanging in this tree right here. But look at this. So I'm guessing this may have been part of the sawmill. It's way down in there. Huh? Cool. Like I said, just a guess. Um, but you know what? This may this. I think this is a spring. Is it? Yeah. Can you swim? I don't know if you're loud. I mean, you can swim wherever you want. But I'm guessing this is a spring. It's coming out of there. Oh wow! So this was probably some type of reservoir. That we saw from the bridge. See this current. Right, See this out. splits oh. off. So that's the um, Swanee over there. I think this may be the Whitlacoochee. Isn't this cool, guys? That's really throwing a lot of water out of there. So I'm guessing this was some type of reservoir. Look, someone's had a rope here. Yeah. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. There it is. Two of them. Yeah, there's another one over there. I'll bet you they would swing yeah. off of that platform right there. Yeah. Or this one. And boom, out into the water. Oh, I bet you that'd be fine. Yeah, I'd like to find out. Yeah. Ain't got no way to get the rope, though. No. Pretty cool, though. You're full. Yeah. What do you mean you're full? Can't be full. Look how clear that is. That's definitely a spring, and man, you can see how much water it is putting out. Huh? This one? Oh God. Monkey taking my picture. Be careful up here. Oh, vertigo. 
Yeah, definitely a spring. So that might have been where their drinking water was coming from. Pretty cool. Let's go check some more stuff out. Okay guys, I am finished with the park. I got a few things and then my camera died, so I'm going to take some from Shea Bear. And we got a couple more cameras, so I'm going to use them for the next place we're going to go to. So you guys stay tuned. I hope you're enjoying the video. And Mikey's going to say she's out for now. Bye y'all.